channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing this makeup using just Catrice and Essence makeup I mainly wanted to film a full face using Catrice because I received a good bag from them I had an event recently and I couldn't attend and they kindly sent me the good bag just the same so thank you so much and I had some new products to test out so I was like why don't I test out the product and you know do a full face using Catrice however I had some missing items so I went on and used my Essence product which basically is the same company so I didn't cheat I didn't cheat I'm gonna just call it a full face using Catrice makeup just because I want to do a full face using essence makeup in the future you know so I just don't want to mix you guys or confuse that's why I'm gonna call it that way and basically I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some new additions from Catrice which they've added into their existing collection so I'm really excited to show you guys the products and yeah, just make sure to keep on watching so yeah and the product that I had in the goodie bag it, they were first impressions in this video I haven't tried them before so it, it's gonna be interesting just to brief you out in the goodie bag I had this light and shadow contouring blush which is this one over here and I have mine in the shade 30 rose propose then I also had this rock couture extreme volume mascara 24 hour which is this one right here packaging is literally gold then I also have this Glam and Dolls Cup and Volume Mascara, which I remember I had the purple one and I really did enjoy that. I also had the Liquid Luminizer Stropping Pan, which I have mine in the shade 20, ready for champagne. I also got the 24 hour made to stay um, foundation as well. The Precious Copper Collection Eyeshadow Palette, which is this one over here. And two of their velvet matte lip cream which i haven't tried so i'm eager to do that in another video because i have another lip product on so if you want a video on these just let me know i also have their lip cushion in the good effect i also have this instant lipstick mattifier i also had an eyebrow pencil and i also have this is the ombre to tone lipstick so it was quite a handful in this goodie bag and I'm just gonna show you how some of them perform. So let's just get into the tutorial which is gonna be a talk through tutorial this time. And so I'm gonna start by using the Made to Stay 24 hour foundation. It says it's mattifying, perfect coverage and lasts up to 24 hour. And I'm gonna be using the shade 10 nude beige and it's also waterproof so I'm super super pale this morning I just applied two pumps on my head seems a little bit runny my first time using most of these products you guys seems to have a nice coverage goes on really smooth I think I need to use more than two pumps I mean, two pumps are probably enough with a beauty blender. However, I want to push this foundation and see how much it can actually cover. So I'm gonna go in with another layer, and I'm gonna concentrate on the areas where I need most coverage, which is of course on my jawline, on my chin area. Color seems a perfect match for me, though. So this is how two layers look I mean it's pretty okay like it did cover and I'm gonna go in with my brows because I hate my brows this way I'm gonna use this Catrice Slimatic ultra precise brow pencil it's really really thin in fact it's like 1.5 mm the tip of it and it's also waterproof the shade is really light for me because as you can see it's like a blondie this is the shade right here I'm just gonna go in and fill in my brows if this doesn't fill in if this isn't dark enough for me, I'm gonna go in with another um, Catrice brow pencil which I had in my collection. Like it's okay for the front bit, however it is too light for the tail of the brow. So I'm gonna go in with my other one. Even this isn't as dark as I'd like it to be, however, it works. I 
one thing which I'm not liking about this pencil is that it's a retractable pencil first of all and it is so fine that it snaps off so you have to be really careful and gentle when using it because it snaps off right away if you have really blonde hair and eyebrow hairs this would be great because it's really really nice to apply like you won't go overboard for sure because it's so light color is really nice if you have blonde hair So that's it for the brows for now and I'm gonna go in with uh, concealer for under eye concealer I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this one by Essence because I haven't got um, one from Catrice however Essence is Catrice's sister brand so I'm not cheating technically you guys because they are like the same from the same mother brand you know review on this concealer up so if you guys want to check it out just go do so because it's a pretty nice concealer and it's also really affordable so now that we're done with other concealer i'm gonna go in with my catrice prime and fine mattifying powder and i'm just gonna set the under eyes and also the areas where I've applied the concealer. Super pale this morning. I need to fake tan tomorrow or Friday because I have a wedding this Saturday. So I wanna be all nice and tan. I need to wax off this mustache because you guys, I'm not a hairy person. However, since I'm not a hairy person, I kind of neglect dealing with my mustache and now it's like showing so much so I need to deal with that now I'm gonna go in with this Essence Mosaic Compact Powder because again I haven't got a compact powder from Catrice so I'm gonna go in with this and I'm just gonna apply it lightly because this is quite dark for me like it's a summer kind of powder you know that wasn't supposed to happen passing on to contouring I'm gonna or bronzing I'm gonna use the Catrice Sun Glow bronzing powder which again I already had in my collection I used to use this non-stop because it is a nice bronzer and I feel it is really nice on paler skin tones because it's nice and peachy it's not too ashy can be quite on the orangey side, however, like a natural, you know, something effect. I'm gonna bronze this chest over here. So, as for blush, I'm gonna be using this new edition from Catrice. This is the Light and Shadow Contouring Blush, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks, of course, and I'm just gonna blend it, the two of them. Basically, I think this is just like a blush. And a kind of highlighter mixed together if you mix them both together. Light and shadow. And if you mix both colors together, you get like a pearly finish, which is nice. I do enjoy blushers like these. Okay, so I forgot that I have this one and I have gone in with powder but anyway i'm just going to use it just the same to see how it will perform hopefully it will perform okay this is the new catrice liquid luminizer strobing pen and it's in the shade 20 ready for champagne so basically this is like a twist up kind of liquid highlighter and i'm just gonna apply it on top of my cheeks and then blend this with a beauty blender hate packaging like this though because it takes ages and then it comes out all in one go and basically you waste the products okay, it's coming out i think it can be a little too dark for me so i'm just gonna put it on my hand first this one over here and then i'm just gonna pick it up with my beauty blender so we'll see how that goes Ooh. it's nice would have been nicer if it was applied on top of the foundation and the powder of course was applied after because like this 
it's a little bit it, it's giving me like a matte effect so I'm just gonna go in it dries super quickly by the way okay so I'm gonna try with a brush yes with a brush I feel it applies much better because with the beauty blender you can easily over blend and it mixed with my foundation so here there is nothing here there is everything I like this the color went on lighter on my skin which is a bonus because straight out of the packaging it looked a little bit dark for my liking I'm just gonna use what's left on the back of my hand on my eyelid. This will also serve as a base for our eyeshadow. I'm gonna go into a blush over here because I can blend it away. I love this side, however, I think I messed up a little bit. This one. So I'm just gonna go in with just a tiny bit. And you know, try and fix this. It's really weird for me to film like this quiet without any music. That's why I like to do voiceovers on my videos because for me, music is my therapy and I love listening to music while doing my makeup like it's my thing. And I feel so weird. I don't know. So the glow is definitely there and I'm gonna set this highlighter with a Catrice highlighter it's High glow highlighter because we want that glow, you know It's a really nice highlight. I don't know if they do it anymore Okay Highlight is definitely there you guys, it's there Okay, so passing on to eyes, I went with this new um, palette by Catrice, it's the Precious Copper. New for me, because I don't know if it's their latest edition or something, but for me it is new. It has the light and the sculpt. Wow, super pigmented. Okay, impressed. Okay, I love it. I feel that with a palette like this, you have so many options, like it is so versatile because it has all your basics. And they've also thrown in a dark shade over there. So technically you can do a smoky eye, a light eye, whatever you want. So and with the light shade first. This is an all shimmery um, palette. So if you want a matte shade, you won't find it in here. So it is not a palette which you can take travel with you, for example, because I feel that you always need some matte shades. You need to take another palette with you. However, it has some really nice shades, which I love the color palette of it. I pigmented, I was really impressed because in the past I've tried Catrice eyeshadows and I wasn't really wowed at all. So I'm really happy to see how good this palette is because it's really affordable. So. I love recommending products to you guys which are affordable and of course which I found really good, you know. There's no point in me suggesting an affordable product which anyone could afford but it doesn't perform well. Like I'd rather recommend something which is a little bit more expensive, however, it does the job. Basically mixing colors together. And again, I'm just gonna use this so I do not have matte shades. So I just have to work with what I'm given, you know? Go in with the bronzer and I need to have a little bit of matte something in there. The another one is the light shade. It has actually written light on top, so it's easy to spot. So this is an 18-hour color and contour eye pencil. I'm just gonna apply it 
on top of the eyeshadow as I normally would with my liquid eyeliner for example I'm gonna blend it away with a pencil brush it's not as blendable maybe because it is meant to stay so of course it will set almost immediately Hmm. It's not a good idea to blend with this, like it's not a cold casual I feel. So do not blend with this. And I'm just gonna apply it as a winged liner. It's applying really really nicely as a winged liner. I'm, I'm impressed. Looks just like my Inglot gel liner. And I'm also gonna be applying this on my. Okay, so. So, can you. So, now I'm just gonna blend the lower lash line with the same pencil brush that I've used on my upper lash line to try and blend the pencil. And that didn't work out, however, I am obsessed with how it looks used as a wing liner, like a liquid liner. So I'm just gonna intensify the crease a little bit more using the sculpting shade from the palette under eye powder. Okay, was it so bright this whole time? Brighten the under eye a little bit more. So I feel that with the eyeshadow and stuff, it can get a little bit dark with the fallout. It doesn't have much fallout. This palette doesn't have much fallout, however, I don't know, I still feel like I need a little bit of a cleanup over there. So I have two mascaras to try out, so I'm gonna do um, one eye with each. First I'm gonna go with this Catrice Glam and Dolls Captain Volume Mascara. It is volume and definition. It comes in a silicone wand. I wear it delicious a lot when it's this way. It's not... When you see a wand like this, it's definitely not a clumpy mascara. I usually like to mix mascaras to be honest because I feel that I get the utmost like the full potential of both because one separates and one gives them more volume you know the Rock Couture Extreme Volume Mascara 24 hour I really like the packaging looks like the Buxom mascara and yeah this is also a silicone one however it is much bigger one better because it is more dramatic so I'm gonna just go in and coat the other one as well however Essence and Catrice mascaras are some of the best out there especially for their price points I'm just gonna go in with the light shade and with the light pinky shade on here just to open up a little bit like this Lighting is driving me crazy, you guys. So I have a couple of lip choices to use. For I have the Catch Treat Lip Cushion with an integrated soft punch applicator, and I got mine in the shade Better Make and Move, Move in the shade 20, which is basically this right here, and applies in like a cushion form. One of their new ombre to tone lipsticks, which is in the shade. Please tell Rosie. This one right here. Then I have two of their velvet matte lip creams, which are these right here. So if you want, I can do a whole video on those. And then I also have the instant lipstick mattifier. And this has a weird shape because it's like a square shape, so I don't know if it certainly helps you. I'm lost without my lip liner. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more bronzer. I'm gonna use the Essence Shading Powder, just like a duo. And then I'm just gonna blend it up afterwards.
So I'm gonna go in with lashes and I'm gonna come okay, back. So I'm gonna go in with my essence powder. Like I broke it because I feel that these brows need a little bit more help. So I feel they're so light. Especially after I put my lashes on, like there's so much drama. Okay, so now that I have a full face on, I can definitely give you some reviews because some of them I've used today for the first time and the other things that I've used um, extra, which weren't in the pack, I've had them in my collection so I know how they perform. So when it comes to the foundation, I liked it, however, I did not love it. Like, it performed well, it's covered, it uh, gave me a nice coverage, however, it's not something that I, I fell in love with or something, so I liked it, but I didn't love it. It's a normal foundation, so I feel that most of you guys would love it, however, I'm very picky with my foundations, and it's not a foundation that I would wear on a night out or on a special occasion or something like it, you know? Like, it does the job, however, it's nothing special, in my opinion, when it comes to me as a picky foundation person, you know? But it's okay. As to the blush, I liked it as well, which is this one. I like it, it gives you what a blush gives you and it also gives you the choice of mixing both shades together to get a pearly finish. So I like that. Oh like the eyeshadow palette, I feel that for the price point it's very very affordable you guys and you get a lot of shades, love the packaging, super sleek, super compact. The only downfall is that you get all shimmery shades, so if you're a matte lover you need to use something else together with this one to get the complete look you're after and yeah it has some colors which I haven't used. In this look which are really nice it's super pigmented you guys it's really nice and I totally recommend this especially having Catrice eyeshadow in the past and I wasn't impressed I was impressed with this one so I liked it as well to the mascara I'm a fan for Essence and Catrice mascara so I like both of them this would be suitable more for a day-to-day -day use and this would be more suitable for a more of a glamorous look love the packaging so much like they don't even show that they like five euros or six euros or less i'm not sure about the price love 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 these it comes to the liquid highlighter not a fan of the packaging again because it's something personal that i'm not really keen on twist up products and that packaging i don't like them however it performed okay it would be better if you apply it straight onto your foundation um, ideally just so that you don't mix liquid with uh, creams with powder so that's like a generic kind of rule when it comes to makeup however it did perform well still I feel I like it it gives you a nice intense glow which I really love so it's another hit for me at first I thought that the color would be a little bit off because I was seeing it to be a little bit more on the bronzy side which worked once I bring it out on, on my face it's come out a little bit lighter. Mine is the shade 20. Maybe if they have a shade 10, it would be even nicer. But this will work on most skin tones because not too dark and not too light. When it comes to the lip product, I loved it. It's really, really creamy, really smooth, very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't emphasize any crevices or crease that you might have on your lips. I love the ombre effect. It does really give you an ombre effect. In fact, I had to go in the lower lip by flipping the lipstick because it really was showing ombre and I wasn't after an ombre look today I put this shirt and with this look so it, is, it does give you a subtle ombre effect but the packaging is really sophisticated, sleek and chic and I also love the shape of it I thought it would be more difficult to apply however it is fairly easy but for me I love my lip liners and it's something that I cannot part so, so it was an easy application, however, with lip liner, it would make job a lot easier. When it comes to the eyebrow pencil, the only thing I didn't like about it is that it's so delicate that it snaps off, therefore it can be much more wasteful than a normal eyebrow pencil. However, you don't need a sharpener, so it's really handy when it comes to this purpose. It's quite pigmented, not overly pigmented to the thing that you can get like Sharpie brows or something. It gives you a very natural look. And I also like the shade for those of you who are blonde. It wasn't a match for me because it was super light. However, for my blonde girls out there, this will be a match for you so definitely a thumbs up and also if it was a darker shade I feel that it would be a nice similar match to my BH Cosmetics um, to my BH Cosmetics eyebrow pencil which I really really love it's my one of my favorites so yeah it can be a good match and you can find it locally of course 
I also have this 18 hour color and contour eye pencil which I have used instead of a liquid liner and it performed so amazing I'm so impressed with this product really happy about it, it says that it's easy glide eye pencil for a precise and intense eye contour that lasts up to 18 hours so it is really intense like it's a jet black kind of eye pencil and yes it lives up to the claim it is very 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 easy to glide because I could apply a wing on top of a shimmery eyeshadow with no problems whatsoever glided on like just like a liquid eyeliner would do and i was able to create this very dramatic wing with it with um i'm impressed that a pencil could do that so i'm really happy with this um, i think that's it the rest of the products which i didn't use i'm gonna be using in future tutorials of course so make sure you subscribe like this video for more and yeah i will see you all in my next one please thumbs up this video if you want a full face using essence makeup bye <laughs>